beautiful, beautiful documentary. I went to go see it last night at AMC 20. I was very, very impressed, man. Loved it. And this goes into the ideologies of the left and the right. I like how um, in the documentary it start from the get-go, man. And in the beginning, it starts with the World War II. He went into the little bit of American history on that. And it was kind of like all over the place in a little bit, but it was still in sequence. And, you know, this man, uh, Devanchi, he went out into Europe. He went to Germany. He really talked about the fascism that Adolf Hitler had these ideologies. And that's, he had the ability to create the Nazi uh, Germany. And he hated bankers. He hated uh, corporations. He hated the Christians. Of course, you know, if you did your history, he hated the Jews. I went to the Holocaust Museum when I was in middle school, and we uh, talked about that. And um, he was just one of, he raised into power in 1933. Now, he was really heavily influenced with Woodrow Wilson at the time, right? And Woodrow Wilson, you know, he um, really uh, sparked the interest of Jim Crow. You know, they was watching Birth of a Nation. Birth of a Nation, not the Nat Turner movie, but the other Birth of a Nation um, went to detail about just uh, just blacks and how the Ku Klux Klan has the ability to kill them and uh, manipulate them, Woody Lynch letters. It was a lot of ideologies in that. And he had a kick out of that, man. You know, this fascism and the higher percenters and the one percenters are having monthly meetings about this, how to control a specific group, especially the African. And of course, they had the one drop rule. They had all these things in the nice Nazi Germany, man. And it, it was just, it was really good. The acting was great, man. Uh, this documentary, it was like about an hour and a half long, but it didn't feel like that. It felt like it was like maybe 50 minutes because I was just so intrigued with this, man. And it just talks about the rise of Antifa. You know, that's a little, some type of uh, private funding, a terrorist group that goes against the left or anyone who uh, supposes or cares about the government in a way it's like beef for vendetta but they're very vicious man and they training is a mix of blacks and whites talk about the protests i like how he went to detail he went to the inner state of new york man inner cities of new york the bronx people living under freeways and tents and he's just saying this is how you know what we came down to and then this is when democrats in order to they come in and plant the seeds in these people's minds that you can't do anything that you're not capable of seceding and this is when he, I went, like he went to detail in 1933 to 1945 when Franklin Delano Roosevelt was president. He had all those worker pro, uh, promise programs. Um, he had the Negro, he had the, what, the NRA, National Rifle Association. He had the auto type of movements. And it was exempt from black folks in that particular time. And, you know, white folks was really benefiting off the economy. And even though we built this country off our backs and stuff, you know, when we came here in slavery, it, it, it's just, he's just highlights so many things, man. And, um, you know, he say that President Trump may be the next Abraham Lincoln. And like how he told like Abraham Lincoln was actually being eliminated and attacked by the Democrats. Democrats created the Ku Klux Klan. Like I said, the Jim Crow era, the segregation, all those things. And Michael Max believed that, well, let the white men do what they need to do. As blacks, we need to create what we need to do. You know, that's, I mean, the Asians do it. Other races or groups of people do it in this country. You know, I mean, every country was pretty much born off of imperialism, uh, due military force, uh, acting involvement of just uh, attacking or conquering type of uh, uh, countries or or any territory. And I just like how it really had a. It's just it was just in detail, man. He talked about George Soros, who was the leader of the Democratic Nationalists. Now George Soros was a Jew at one time, but his father was a successful lawyer. He went out somewhere, and uh, he didn't want to get persecuted at that particular time because the Nazis was killing Jews, man. They was going into universities and destroying them. And it was a young lady that, um, well, going back to George Soros, he actually. Uh, imposed himself as a adopted godson and so he started working for the nazis when he was 14 years old and ever since then of course he got into private lenders as he got older and now that's just how he is he's a multi-billionaire doesn't believe in god and he just believes in just attacking people in a systematic way and you know just funding these programs man and and, and it's just open your eyes to that we are at a war at stake man i've been talking about this like we are in a spiritual war but you know this is real you know i mean at the end of the day the democrats they want you to depend on them so they can continue to make millions of dollars off of your ignorance conservatives what ronald reagan said is is, is one it's like it's not a favor of any party they just want to continue to make their money, be self-sufficient, do for self, right, and, and, and create wealth without the government in their pocket or intervening them. That's all that is. That's what being a conservative is. And, you know, of course, I, he didn't go into detail with Ronald Reagan, of course, with the drugs and the black community, because it would have been too long, but he interviewed Richard Spencer, and Richard Spencer 
I guess it's a dude from CNN. He had like neo Nazis type of groups. I mean, he didn't know who he was, but he called himself conservative, but he's not. He's a, a progressiveness in a way. And uh, but anyway, man, it, it's talked about that the reactions, people just just blaming Donald Trump that he's nothing, he's not gonna be anything, he's the worst president ever. But no, you got Hillary Clinton who loved Margaret Sanger. Margaret Sanger has the extermination of babies and she was a eugenist, a eugenist who should believe in controlled population, wiping out two thirds of the population. That's what people don't understand. They're not going to tell you that. See, they feed off into your emotions. That's what the Democrats do. And it was just amazing, man. I know I'm living out a lot of stuff, man. But you go ahead and see Death of a Nation. I don't know if it's going to be on DVD because they he almost got sued for this. But it was real interviews. It was good. I shed a tear at the end. The Black Choir. The Choir. If you guys are watching this, that was beautiful. I don't know what church you guys go to, but that was amazing the melodies was great man the way for him to end it and it was just me and this other dude man um it's caucasian man but we i was just i shed a tear man because I, I understand who i am and i was reading romans 11 man just getting into the spirit instead of the flesh man and i feel like that's what the leftists want us to do just to be so ignorant and have us tell us what to think like television telling your vision that's why i don't watch cnn or too much like that I might read a little bit of articles i feel if a story is interesting to talk about but with this movie or documentary, it was excellent, man. Um, the young lady, man, you know, she died uh, for her cause uh, in, in Germany. Uh, it was from 1921. She's born 1921 to 1943, and uh, she was writing, typewriting, just saying that Adolf Hitler is a liar. He he's a deceiver. He's an oppressor. And of course, he got caught, and they beheaded her, man. It reminds me of what Paul was writing the 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 Gospels, man, and when he was in prison before he got beheaded with uh, by the Romans, and uh, he was in that's he wrote a wrote letters with Thessalonians, he encouraged Timothy, but, you know, we all have gifts that the Lord says, you know, gifts, if you're gifts in teaching, you teach, you gifts of encouragement, you're encouraged, hospitality, hospitality, you know, if it's the lead, you do it diligently, and I just want to say this to the leftists, or no, not the leftists, the rights, man, and the conservatives, don't be afraid to stand up for the truth, even at least to your death, same thing with the gospel, but this your boy, Young Lee, I gotta get out of here, man, I know I'm pressing time, but, Watch that movie, the documentary. It was good. Even if you're a Democrat, watch it. It, it, it changes your mindset, man. He did a great job with this. Um, this is this is a great movie. I really don't rate documentaries, but with this, I give this a 9.7 out of 10. Um, it was good, man. Of course, he didn't go into detail about the Black Panther Party. It would have been too much of black history. I mean, hopefully, you do a part two, but this was excellent. I loved it, man. I dare you to watch this movie or documentary. I keep saying it, but please, man. It... It, just be open-minded to understand the, the, the things that goes on in this country that the one percenters are doing. They want to control government, man. Third world power. That's all they want, man. And uh, I believe President Trump's trying to strengthen the borders, you know, get rid of the legal immigrants so as Americans can have a, a chance, man. So it inspired me to travel, go to Europe, man. And he, I think he was well-researched in this, man. Uh, he talked to historians. It was just excellent, excellent, excellent. Excellent project. You guys continue. God bless. I love y'all. Like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for all my new subscribers. More videos will come. But let's think, man. Don't have people think. If you don't think for yourself, they're going to do the thinking for you. I'm out.